One of the biggest problems in the field involves situations in which you may lose a significant amount of bone. I was walking out of my bathroom to go up the stairs and I fell. My tibia bone shattered. I couldn't walk, I couldn't move my leg. So Katie came to me with a tumor of the proximal tibia of her knee and did a surgery where we scraped out the tumor and treated it with some other treatments. And unfortunately, the joint surface itself actually collapsed in after that treatment. Surgery after surgery, hospital after hospital. This has, you know, been my life for the last four years. It's been hard. With 3D biomaterial scaffolds, and you can just about design any shape or form. Um, and you can rely upon clinical uh, or medical image data for the patient so that you can create personalized solutions, if you will. And you can use biomaterials that are compatible with the body so that ultimately it is completely replaced by normal bone. For a surgeon, this would be amazing because we'd be able to use it in so many facets to help so many patients. Patients like Katie and all sorts of other patients that present with major bone defects, major cartilage defects. So it's coming, but it's going to take more time, more work. There is something better out there and the future holds that and research holds that opportunity for them.